It's a focus on foreign policy on the campaign trail. Critics say both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump lacking in clarity. Lisa Fletcher has the story from Washington. Foreign policy is front and center this campaign, and military strategy to deal with ISIS often the centerpiece. And while both candidates have decidedly opposite positions, critics say both lack clarity on the details. There's no shortage of strong rhetoric. With the terrorists, you have to take out their families. He has said that he would order our military to carry out torture and the murder of civilians who are related to suspected terrorists. But what specific military strategy and intervention looks like under each candidate still lacks details for many. Both of them have kind of created some broad outlines of how they view the military and how they would use the military, but have not gotten into details about how they would get there. Philip Lowhouse works on national security and future warfare strategy for the American Enterprise Institute. He says whether it's Clinton suggesting no-fly zones without explanation of how they'll work, or Trump broadly calling for more ground troops, critical details are often absent. This week, Trump suggested the military simply lacked a sense of urgency to defeat ISIS. They will have 30 days to submit to the Oval Office a plan for soundly and quickly defeating ISIS. I think that the generals already have sound plans to defeat ISIS. The question isn't what the generals think and whether it's feasible or not. The question is whether it's politically feasible. Tuesday, Trump released a list of 88 military endorsements quickly answered by the Clinton campaign with a list of 95 retired admirals and generals who support her as commander in chief. And there's a, a big debate in the national security community about whether it's appropriate or not for these generals to come out and make these endorsements. When one candidate comes out with a list and another comes out with another list, the effects kind of cancel each other out. Lowhouse says voters will be looking to the debates for a window into the military under each candidate. ISIS, drones, cyber, all topics on which voters want more information, including what is going to become of the VA. It's another military topic sure to come up at tonight's Commander-in-Chief Forum. Donald Trump says he wants to privatize aspects of it. And voters are curious to know what Hillary Clinton thinks of the Obama administration's reforms and if she would do anything additionally. In Washington, D.C., I'm Lisa Fletcher. Well, we have reached out to both candidates to participate in extended interviews, not only with WSBT 22, but our sister stations across the country. Tonight at 10, we'll hear from Donald Trump concerning illegal border crossings into the U.S. And tell us what you want to know from the candidates. Send us an email to news at WSBT.com or message us on Facebook. We want to give you a voice in this historic and important race for the White House.